Well, more restaurants are once again closing their doors due to the uptick in cases. Many of these places haven't had anyone test positive for the virus, but they're doing so anyways. Our Monica Garcia explains why. We're talking about a business that even during the pandemic, they were doing pretty well, but decided to reclose, not because someone here got COVID, but because they felt it was the right thing to do. As we've remained open, we just see the cases and the numbers going up. Worried they may be dishing out more than just food and drinks. Kel Duncan, one of the managing partners at the Churchill in downtown Phoenix, says they've decided to shut their doors yet again. We've seen other places get cases. It started to seem like it was inevitable that we would end up in those similar situations. They're part of a growing number of local restaurants across the valley, opting for a proactive approach to keeping staff and customers safe, like the owner of Cheeseburger in Glendale, Chef Kelly Fletcher. Lives are so much more important than the bottom line. He says when they reopened the first time, things started off okay. It was electric. And then all of a sudden, um, we, start, we saw people starting to get way too, too comfortable, you know? The masks were disappearing. Um, the congregating was, was starting to show up. That's when Chef Kelly also decided to close his dining room, reverting back to takeout only. And just hours ago, Miracle Mile Deli off 16th Street in Campbell posted this message. Hey, everybody. Um, sorry to do this, but due to recent spikes in COVID-19. The owner, Josh Garcia, says they're shutting down for the next week to allow everyone on their staff to get tested. Back out at the Churchill, Kel says he's now having to furlough his 25 employees again. That's the easy part of making the decision to shut down. The hard part is dealing with everything after. And I have a lot of people that work for me, and so they're out of jobs. Some of, many of them are out of jobs now. I'm not, I'm also out of a job. As far as a reopening date, the owners say they wanna make sure that everything is all good before they decide that, likely at the end of July. In downtown Phoenix, I'm Monica Garcia with Arizona's Family.